All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a phone dialer directly inside of KOWP or KWGT, or heck, it might even work with custom lock screen as well. This does require a tasker, but you can call any number you want, and I'll give you an example real quick. One of my favorite places to shop is Best Buy, so typing in this phone number over here. Now the number is displayed up here, showing that it does match, so I'm going to show you how to set that up as well and we can just press check to call. Now I wanna make sure, and you're probably gonna have a pop-up like this, make sure you select phone instead of contacts, that way it's gonna go straight to your phone, and you can click always for that. Thanks for calling Best Buy and Wilson. And as you can see, it does work just fine. So let's go into KOWP first to show you a few things that we can customize about this. And before I do that, if you want to clear that number out, we can press this X, and suppose you're calling a number and you make a mistake, you can just clear it at any time and that will clear it out from Tasker as well. And I'm gonna show you that right here shortly. This phone dialer I have is inside of a component. You can pick this up from my free components folder. That link is in the description below. Inside of the component, I'm gonna to go to globals and we can change the color of the ring. We can also change the number color. You can change the ring size. You can change the stroke size. You can change the font. You can change the font size. You can change the spacing between your buttons. You can change the dial size. And basically what that is, is going to be the numbers that pop up up here. We can't see those right now. You can adjust the corners of your squares. So there's a lot of customizing you can do inside of here. And this text global variable that you see here is the number that's getting sent over from Tasker to KOWP. And the way I had this set up, I kind of have KOWP and Tasker talking back and forth. I'm actually changing the value of the variable through KOWP, but it's kind of like a little manipulation because technically you cannot send over data from KOWP to Tasker to my knowledge. But if we create the right task, we can manipulate the data. To show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to head into Tasker. So I've created all of this stuff in something that I've called Dialer, and this will be available on the Tasker files should you not want to create this, but I'm going to go through it with you. So uh, it's just a bunch of tasks, really. And I'm going to start with zero. So this task called zero, I'm creating a variable set, and I'm calling it percent num lowercase because I'm making it a local variable and I'm setting it to zero. So basically if I press zero, ultimately when I press zero on the widget or the custom live wallpaper, it's going to trigger this task and it's going to create a local variable called percent num and it's going to set it to zero. Then I'm going to do another variable set and in this variable set, I'm actually using a global variable. That way I can use this variable throughout all of my tasks and I'm calling that global variable percent number. Make sure you use a capital letter there so that it is a global variable in Tasker. And we're going to set that percent number to percent number, basically whatever it was before, but then I'm going to tack on percent num, which is going to be zero in this case. So if percent number was say five, it's now going to be five, zero, or 50. And then we're going to perform task. And this perform task is send num to KOWP. Let me show you that task real quick. That's this task down here at the bottom. It's one little KOWP send variable and I'm calling it number so far. Basically, I'm taking whatever that global variable number that we'll be creating through typing our numbers in, we're gonna send it over to KOWP from Tasker and I'm calling that custom variable number so far. You don't have to be as detailed with your name, but I just wanted to do that for the sake of this video. Now, let me go to one. One is just like zero. So you could copy and paste that task from zero, except now we want a local variable. We're gonna set it to one. Variable set, we want to set our global variable number to whatever it was, but then we're gonna tack on a one in this case, in this particular task. And then we're gonna send that over to KOWP using that same perform task. And take a wild guess at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They all work the same way. Just make sure you change your variable set percent num to nine. Now we're going to set our global variable to whatever it was plus that number. In this case, it'll be a nine tacked on to the end of that number. Now, when you're sending something over to KOWP, make sure you use a KWGT send variable or a KLOC send variable if you're sending it over to those particular apps. I'm using KOWP here since I have a component set up. 
Now the tasks that I haven't showed you yet are reset. What reset will do, if we press the X on the keypad that I created, basically it's going to take that global variable percent number and it's going to set it to nothing. And the way you do that is you just come down here and put a space and that'll make that global variable blank. To perform the phone call, I have a send intent. Now you may need to do something a little bit different than what I'm doing here. I don't have an action. The only thing I'm changing inside of here, or two things, is the data and it's tail colon percent number. So it's gonna take that number and it's gonna see it as a telephone number essentially. And then make sure down here, target you have activity. There is a really great thread started back, you know, almost five years ago uh, about send intents and it's over at the XDA developers forum. And the one that I found to be helpful here is this one right here, calls the number directly. Now notice up here in my action, I don't have that particular action inside of here, but I do have that tail colon with the phone number. In this case, I'm using my global variable and tasker for that number. So if it's not working for you, maybe you do have to add that action. I did not have to add it here and it works just fine. And that's all we're doing there, just to send intent. And that is our task, all of our tasks to create our phone dialer in tasker at least. So back inside of KOWP in this component, that num text global variable is BR tasker comma number so far. That is that global variable number in tasker that's getting sent over to KOWP. And the reason why I'm sending that over is so that I can show it up here. So let's go into this component. And then inside of this stack group, yeah, we have some other stack groups, some shapes and whatnot, but the text is this top piece that I have here. And right now it's blank. I'm getting that global variable GV num. And again, that's what's getting sent over from tasker. Right now it is blank. This line is just a basic rectangle. I do have some formulas applied to it so that it changes. I'm not gonna get into all the details of changing the sizes and strokes and colors and all that. I have plenty of videos on that and more than likely uh, if you're not a beginner, you have some experience with changing that stuff. If you're just getting into KOWP and all the other custom apps, I recommend checking out my beginner series before diving into all of that stuff. So then our keypads, you know, how do we get this stuff to work back and forth with Tasker? So I'm going to go to this stack group. I have a one overlap group right here. And if I touch this one overlap group that has the text one and that square shape, if we go to its touch, I have it launch shortcut, task shortcut, and in this case, since I'm looking for one, I want to trigger that task right there. Make sure that you did add an icon for all of these. If not, it's gonna ask you to do it for each one of these tasks. That's just something that you have to define in Tasker, or you can do it from here as well. But uh, we're gonna trigger that. So when we touch one, we're gonna create a local variable in Tasker, calling it one, we're gonna set our global variable number to whatever it was, and then we're gonna put a one onto the end of it, and then we're gonna send that over to KOWP. And that's what I've showed you a moment ago. Now, all of these work the same way. So, you know, if I go to number nine, so here's seven, eight, nine, here's my nine square with the text and the shape, touch, launch shortcut, task shortcut, and just pick nine here. And the same thing applies even to the X and the check. We just wanna make sure for the X, we wanna make sure that's set to reset. And for the check, I want it set to call. If all of that's done correctly, you should be able to make a phone call directly from your custom live wallpaper or your widget, or maybe even your custom lock screen. And there you have it. That's how you can create a phone dialer directly inside of your custom app using Tasker and that custom app. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.